Hi guys, today I am going to show how to download and install and set up MySQL in Windows 11. Uh, open your web browser and type MySQL. After that you will get MySQL. Click on this link. It will open mysql.com. Click on this downloads. Come down and uh, click on this MySQL community downloads. After that, in MySQL community downloads, MySQL installer for Windows. Click on this. After clicking this, it will select the version automatically and select the operating system. And here you see which one we have to download. We have to download Windows 686 36-bit also work for 64-bit also MIS, MSI installer. Okay, it is 3, uh, 303 MB. Just click on download and come here just no thanks just start start my downloads in downloads i am downloading this mysql installer click on save it is started downloading okay it will take some time to download open in folder and hit double click on this one setup type we have to choose the custom and click on next here in here we have to select the uh, some of the products okay uh, from mysql server we have to click on this mysql uh, plus button again plus button again plus button yeah we have to select this server mysql server okay just uh, select this one and drag drag this one click on this it will go to here okay this is the first one we have to select second one is in applications okay in applications we have to click on this mysql work uh, workbench and again click on this plus button select this again click on this uh, and coming to this mysql shell click on this click on this select this one and just uh, uh, click on this okay we have to choose mysql server mysql workbench mysql shell okay just click on next here uh, we have to execute these things okay we have to the following products will be installed you have to execute click on this execute okay uh, it will take some time see the status status are complete so click on next and click on next the port is uh, three, uh, three th 3306 so uh, no need to change the port it is a default port so click on next here authentication method okay use strong password encryption for the authentication okay so already it is chosen so we have to give our own uh, uh, password so we have to choose this one so click on next here you can give the uh, password okay okay yeah, I given my password you can give uh, anything here it will show password strength is weak you can give anything and click on next click on next uh, here server file permission yes grandfully access to running the windows services okay we choose on this one yeah click on next uh, execute again we have to execute all the things so execute it will started one by one executing yeah click on finish and click on next and here you see the installation procedure has been completed 
okay installation is complete uh, completed so start mysql uh, workbench after the setup and start mysql uh, shell after the setup okay click on finish <coughs> yeah automatically opens the mysql uh, workbench here okay uh, this one click on here it will ask the password already we provided right there you can give that one okay yeah this is how we can create uh, we can install the my mysql workbench in our windows open comment prompt uh, we can check my sql version version see here mysql is not recognized as an internal or external command so we have to add the path of the mysql in our environment variable okay uh, so open open your local folder and uh, come to this os programming files here just uh, look for uh, mysql okay in mysql here mysql server 8.0 click on this bin okay copy this uh, this path okay after copying open your environment variables after opening just in advance click on this environment variables and uh, in the system variable yeah, click on this path edit you can click on new and you have to paste that one okay uh, here you see i paste it click on ok click on ok click on ok comment prompt now you can type mysql version hit enter you can see the mysql version is now working in our uh, um, our windows okay it is successfully installed and uh, it is working now we can uh, uh, create uh, our own database so before that you have to give mysql minus u root minus p hit enter it is asking enter password you can enter your password uh, before we in the in the time of installation we given right we have to give that one root at one two three hit enter uh, you see welcome to the mysql monitor okay now we can uh, start creating our database okay first before that we can check what are the database are available in uh, uh, mysql okay uh, already so <clears throat> show give the comment like a show databases okay databases hit enter you can see the databases like already uh, some of the mysql some of the databases already is there okay now we can create our own database create database and give the database name as demo you can give anything so hit enter uh, this uh, given command is working fine we can check whether this demo is present in database or not okay so again you can give the show databases data basis okay hit enter you can see our demo database is created in a database this is how we can uh, download and install uh, install the mysql uh, uh, mysql setup completely in windows yeah thank you for watching please subscribe